One of the things you know as an entrepreneur uh, is you never stop learning. You, you develop an insatiable desire to hear other entrepreneurs and hear their stories. Where it's all about presentation and passion and personality and a love of product. If you look at our website, I think the first sentence from Dean Jane is entrepreneurship is the foundation of our economy. The reason I think entrepreneurship should be supported is that entrepreneurs create most of the new jobs in the world. And if we can teach people to be better entrepreneurs, uh, we can have more people earning a good living and having a better life. We all know most of the jobs in this country are created through small business, not large business. And you never know what's around the corner, and I think the more that, that Kellogg can do to create future entrepreneurs, I think it's going to be good for, for everyone. I chose the entrepreneurship program because I also believe that regardless of where you work, there is a spirit of entrepreneurship. Kellogg gets to put everything it teaches to work in a real life setting, like in the petri dish of capitalism. We sponsored the, the Kellogg survey, um, which was focused on understanding entrepreneurship and what happens to Kellogg students who take Professor Rogers' class and the other entrepreneurship classes once they graduate. And what the survey showed was that 85% of those who majored in entrepreneurship while at Kellogg, 85% of them became entrepreneurs uh, at one time in their lives. Another interesting thing about the survey is that companies that were founded by Kellogg students now employ almost 7,000 people, which is pretty amazing, and I think have revenue just, just north of $1 billion. I certainly found in my career that the basic skills that I've learned at Kellogg have helped me as an entrepreneur, have helped me understand finance, accounting, uh, a lot of things that would be outside of the marketing world and advertising world that I, where I spend most of my time. I wanted to go to Kellogg because it was the nation's premier marketing school. I had absolutely no intention of being an entrepreneur. That came later as sort of a midlife crisis. This is a great time to want to be an entrepreneur. The reason I wanted to be an entrepreneur was I was sick of dealing with all the different red tape and so forth of bureaucracy within corporate America. I ended up with a business that has been the single best, most rewarding thing I've ever done on a professional basis in my life. We want to teach students in the classroom in a traditional way about entrepreneurship. First and foremost, they're coming to receive a premier education from a premier group of faculty. We've been identified objectively as being one of the best in the country. We've had more uh, recipients of Entrepreneur of the Year awards who teach at Kellogg than any other school in the country. And then we want to also allow our students to have extracurricular experiences in the entrepreneurial world. We've designed a really interesting way to teach about business plans. We bring in judges, mentors, people who are entrepreneurs themselves. The students basically spend weeks preparing their business plans. They research them. It's not an exercise. Every time we do one of these, it feels like we hear a question that we've never heard before. And uh, so we learn something new every time we do this. Very competitive, as has we expect, because um, this Kellogg is a great place for entrepreneurship. Very impressed with the quality of the work, the comprehensiveness of the plans, and the thought that went into both tracks. Tough, tough competition. Winners all, and uh, an incredible display of uh, Kellogg brilliance when it comes to entrepreneurship. It's the best thing I do that week. One of the, uh, the neat things that Professor Rogers has instituted is uh, a tour de quay. And uh, what that is is an opportunity for entrepreneurs to kind of like show themselves off to their alma mater Kellogg. I, I didn't know what to expect at the time. You know, and uh, Steve and his team came came by, but it was pretty uh, amazing. Um, you know, I could see some of the uh, people on the management team that had gone to Kellogg and the sense of pride that they had. I think it was great for Steve to come out and, and visit us at our facility. I don't think you could really get a, a, a great sense on what we've really done as a company and how we've taken it from truly this business plan to where we've taken it, and I think it really opened up Steve's eyes quite a bit and to what we've done and I think it really made him proud that a couple of Kellogg grads have taken it to the level that we've taken it. To get some recognition is always great. 
you know, you're, you're so busy sometimes giving it, uh, you forget what it feels like to receive it, and it was a nice surprise. Our students get a chance to literally sit down and spend a half an hour, one-on-one -on -one basis, talking to a successful entrepreneur about any and everything that he or she wants to talk about. Basically in the program, I have a chance to talk to a lot of different students and brainstorm their ideas and their business plan. Right from starting a restaurant all the way to starting a IT offshore company in uh, Africa. This student, uh, he came to me and he was able to convince me in a short span of 30 minutes that starting a business in Africa was good for uh, the uh, humankind, in, you know, overall. And the ironic thing is I'm an entrepreneur of Indian background and the student was of Chinese background and he wanted me to do a business in Africa. And I think things like that only happen at Kellogg, in my opinion. We place anywhere from 10 to 15 students every summer. Uh, I'm proud to say that I've had four interns here at Smith Wiley uh, as summer interns through the Kellogg program. But they get firsthand uh, hands-on experience. They just don't stay in a closet and run numbers all day. We get them involved with client meetings. They actually go out and go to the field, visit the company, kick the tires like we kick the tires. We've actually hired a person who uh, was a summer intern. He's been with us since 2003. Uh, he came in as an associate and uh, right now he's an assistant vice president. He's been promoted twice. It makes me proud to, to say that he's an alum. We also now have a family business conference every year uh, that is taught or that is run by John Ward. You know, in a family business, it's, it's, you know, you, it's not just a, a job. I mean, I pop up out of bed like a piece of toast in the morning. I can't wait to get to work. I mean, it's our passion. It's our life's work. Each year when I've had an opportunity to attend the Center for Family Enterprise seminars that take place, uh, it's a two-day session each year in May, uh, I walk away from there with nuggets of information that really help that we come back and we implement the next day in our business. Professors, the uh, administrative staff, always been incredibly welcoming on any issue that I've come back to. A lot of folks might think, oh, you know, it's book smarts or whatever. In fact, you know, these tools really do work and that experience and breadth of knowledge as well as the academia that uh, has really had a significant impact on our company. Every company in America must embrace entrepreneurship or they themselves will be looking at their own demise. Being an entrepreneur in a large corporation such as USC, it certainly has its similarities to being a regular entrepreneur, but it's also got uh, tremendous differences. USG hadn't done the entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship before. I think I could, I could liken entrepreneurship to having an older brother as you're going through school. You've got somebody there to look out for you as you maybe head down a path, or if you get into a bit of trouble, uh, you've got somebody there to look out for your interests. We always look back to Kellogg and say, not only are there good people there, but there's a lot of great information that we can harness. That's always a great feeling to be able to put in place what you've learned, not in a, in a test market, but, but actually to put your career out and say, I'm willing to bet my career off some of these things that I've learned. Doing something that you love to do, and I decided that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I was looking for a feel of the future. We decided on computers. I truly, truly believe there is no greater correlation of success and how passionate the team is about winning. So businesses have to grow consistently and have to be willing to deal with change and change in order to grow. Steve unveiled this idea of this thing with speaker series and uh, certainly to us, uh, we were pretty excited about it. And so being a sponsor of that series has not only been good for the folks involved, but it's been good for our firm too. We try to create environments where our students and alums can network with each other. Uh, part of that comes when we, for example, have our uh, alumni entrepreneur conference. I, I really enjoyed the conference. A lot of us as entrepreneurs in the Kellogg community, we've started our businesses and we're now trying to grow those businesses and we're trying to figure out how to keep that entrepreneurial spirit alive. Joe is, is not just a successful entrepreneur, he's one of the vital few. Joe Levy also has been just an absolute special friend to Kellogg. And quite frankly, Joe is the largest benefactor in Kellogg's history. The reality is that 
says that the entrepreneur who stops learning is the entrepreneur who dies. To come back and be involved in this program can only benefit you. We're doing amazing things. We need role models, we need mentors, and we need great success stories uh, sponsored by Kellogg alums. We built an infrastructure for lifelong education. Coming to Kellogg meant that you came for life and not, not a two week to punch a card. If you've had any success in your own life, you know, you want to give back to people. You want, you want to help them grow. You are and will always be a member of the Kellogg Entrepreneurship family. When someone goes to Kellogg, they shouldn't be just thinking that they're going to school for two or three years or however long it takes them to graduate. Kellogg is a lifetime experience. There's no question about it. Whether they be networking, whether they be, you know, uh, family enterprise, whether they be educational tools, your relationship with Kellogg uh, continues to grow after graduation. You know, I think Kellogg has made a, a real effort lately to stay connected with students outside Chicago, um, and the effort is manifesting itself in this goofy uh, video camera that I'm talking into right now. We've done a great job of building the, the entrepreneurial network here in Boston as well. There's a Kellogg Alumni Club of Boston that's has hosted events with Professor Rogers and other professors. So I would definitely recommend to anyone, you know, should you stay involved, they say absolutely. I know people are busy, but for us it's been a big win. It's, it's viral. Once you get in, I think, and once you re-engage or engage for some people, I know it's difficult with family responsibilities, you put your money where your mouth is. Get involved, write a check. I am so impressed with what this center has done that I wrote a check and then asking the, the bank to cover it as well. We expect you to continue your education. You are welcome to come back. We expect you to come back. And we want to always be a part of your life. It's an investment well spent that pays dividends. Come to Kellogg, if you major in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is in your future.